Hello guys, it's the Almost Super Jew, and I have another UU battle. Um, this team's a little different. Um, I added the Haunch Crow, so let's get into it. So, he starts off with Slowbro, I start with Miencho, I U-turn to do quite a bit of damage. Uh, and switch right into my Shaman to take whatever he wants to give to me. He goes for the Psy Shock and switches out as I go for the Seed Flare into his Tropius. It misses, but it doesn't matter. I go to this for Synthesis because I don't think he could hurt me much, but he goes for the Air Slash and does more damage than I healed up. He goes for the Air Slash again as I go into Rotom Heat. And I don't take much, and I fear... Um, scare him out. I then go for the Volt Switch, but he predicts that and goes into Golurk. And goes to the Dynamic Punch as I go into Blastoise. Now, I stay into Blastoise and go for a Toxic, hoping to catch it, but he goes into his Bronzong. My confusion luckily ends and I go for the Scald, hoping for the burn, but don't get it, as he goes for the Calm Mind. Now, I don't want him uh, setting up on me, so as he goes for another Calm Mind, I go for the Roar. As he goes in, brings him into his Snorlax. I go for the Toxic on the Snorlax, because I need that poison. As he goes for the Body Slam, and luckily enough, he doesn't get the poison. He switches out his Snorlax, goes into his Tropius as I go for the Roar again, back into his Bronzong. So, I go for the Scald on his Bronzong, still hoping for the burn as he goes for the Psy Shock. And I'm doing a little bit more damage to him than he's doing to me, but we are still caught in this attack war with neither side doing much to the other. Um, so, finally he switches out into his Hitmontop, and... Luckily enough, I get the Scald on that, so that is unfortunate for him, but I, as he goes for the Rolling Kick, I flinch, unfortunately, but it doesn't matter that much because the Rolling Kick's not doing much after the burn drop, attack drop. So I go into the Gligar to take anything he will throw at me, but instead he goes into the Slowbro. So I Toxic, knowing I could take at least one Scald, and luckily enough, I don't get the burn, but I get the Toxic off, so that will cripple his Slowbro quite a bit. So he goes for Scald on my Blastoise, and still, not many Scald burns this game for the amount of Scalds I've been giving out. He goes for the Side Shock as I go for the Roar right back into his Bronzong, which I don't mind fighting. So I go for the Scald, still fail to burn him, as he goes for the Side Shock. And I'm going to Scald again, and get the Crit. Not quite the burn, but the Crit is still very nice. Um, this next Scald does not bring him down to fainting range, but it brings him very close. If I had gotten the burn, that would have killed him off. This last skull finally kills him, but my Blastoise is still pretty weak as he goes into his Tropius. So I go into Honchcrow, thinking I could probably take anything, but he goes for the Leech Seed on me, then protects as I try to go for the Brave Bird. Now, knowing none of his team wants to take a Brave Bird, I go for the Brave Bird again. It hit the Snorlax. And it does tons of damage, but he is getting Leech Seed away from me, and he winds up at more percent of health than I am, so I have to go into my Gligar, and I take the Paralyze from the Body Slam, but it's much better than having a burn, so I don't mind. So as he goes for the rest, I go for the Roost, and we're both healing up here. He's fast asleep, but still gets the Body Slam for the Sleep Talk, for, though I get the Stealth Rocks. Um, he keeps getting the body slam, and I unfortunately do not get the roost, but I get it next turn as he goes for the whirlwind and drags me out into my blastoise. Now I want to wear him down quick, so I'll go for the toxic, and he body slams me, which is not real good on my part. So he body slams, get the paralysis, and but I still get to roar him out into his tropis. It takes good 25% damage from the Stealth Rocks as it goes for the Leech Seed on my Blastoise, but I get the Toxic on Astropius. The trick to stall teams is trying to get status up on as much as many of them as possible. It goes for the Air Slash as I switch into my Rotom Heat, and predicting him to do the same thing as last time, I just go for the trick. So now his Slowbro has a Choice Specs, and I have his Rocky Helmet. So I go for the Volt Switch and go into Blastoise to take whatever hit he wants to give me, but he used for the Thunder Wave, and unfortunately for him, dies off to the Toxic. So I'm paralyzed, he's poisoned, he goes for the Body Slam just to kill me off. Um, 
and he's I'm still worried about this thing because it still has the rest but I go into Mianchao and predicting the Golar to come in I go for the U-turn and switch right into my haunch crow so I know nothing wants to take a brave bird for my haunch crow so I go for the brave bird again and I'm able to bring the Snorlax down so low to the point where after toxic he was will basically go down to this volt switch so that was good I go into Mianchao because it's fast sitting on my team and the most I could do this Golurk is just U-turn out and go right into my Gligar who can basically wall this Golurk for days now it's kind of and I go right into my Shaman because maybe I could pull something off but the confusion and the damage from Dynamic Punch is a little too much so I go back into my Gligar to take what he would give to me so he is going for dynamic punch and I have the parafusion which is not too bad because Gligar is not taking any damage from his hits but he goes for the stealth rocks but luckily I drop confusion and get the toxic off on his goaler so that will slowly be wearing him down but he goes for dynamic punch gets confusion again but I get paralyzed but the poison is bringing him down and he is going for shadow punch which is probably damaging the most out of all his moves which is kind of ironic because it's not doing much damage at all next he goes into his tropius and his tropius takes a lot of damage from the toxic and leech seed but i roost as he goes for the leech seed knowing i could basically wall this thing because it, i can roost off all the damage that he does to me and he will be getting taken down by the toxic so he tries to sub up but he's too weak with the poison and all but at this point he tries to sub up again but he will be dying to the poison this turn there was no doubt about it so I'm a leech seed I have um, the paralysis on me and he goes for the bullet punch which doesn't do much because he is still burned I go for the earthquake which doesn't do much because I'm not a physical attacker but I then roost up because I gotta keep healthy just in case of a crit a crit would be very unfortunate so he rabbit spins away the stealth rocks it doesn't matter at this moment because his last Pokemon won't take much damage from the stealth rocks so he goes for the dynamic punch and confuses me and I unfortunately hit myself but that's okay He's getting HP back from the leftover, from the both the leftovers and the leech seed, and he's actually getting me down quite a bit. He's doing better than before against my Gligar, but I have things for this. Unfortunately, I keep getting confused and paralyzed, and I am not able to get off the roost on time. So that is very unfortunate, but that's okay because. I do have Shaman out, and Shaman could just go for the quick Seed Flare, finish up the match. I'm pretty sure the Seed Flare hit, I could have hit the Overheat. 